Well, this is Rick, and it is Wednesday. Actually, wait a minute, it's Thursday, and it's 12.38 a.m. Thursday, and I'm in a Walmart parking lot. And the iris is incredible for putting nice heat. Very, very comfortable in here. You see the flashing light. You see my fuel is uh, over a little about a, over a half a tank. And uh, I will be getting back to the mom's place in the morning. I did have to leave last night because it was getting pretty doggone crazy in there and it was an hour before she wanted to go to bed and so there's all kinds of very interesting behaviors going on which is part of the process of aging and I went down to a bar in town and had myself a Molson's Canadian one that was it and the band was playing very, very loud. You know, like I'm 57 years old now, and I used to be able to listen to loud music like that. I can't quite put up with it anymore. Let's uh, take the camera and look over toward Walmart. Open 24-7. Hopefully we will... Uh, see some paperwork from Office of the Aging which will help solve some problems here and uh, like I say from the particular apartment agency I did get a notice that my mother's lease would be terminated if I continued to stay there after a 14 day mark as a guest um, a lady in the apartment complex offered to sign me in as a guest, but I decided to stay in the car another night or two. And I also have a brother who has offered to let me stay over there. So I'm thinking about it at this point. My main concern is to get back to mom's in the morning <laughs> and make sure there isn't too much out of whack. We got phone calls tonight from some strange agency who I felt was preying on citizens, senior citizens, with the way they were trying to make it mandatory that uh, mom call them back right away, that she must call them. You know, it's just the nature of the beast nowadays with telemarketing. So, okay, this is the update from the Aris in a Walmart parking lot at 12.41 a.m. on Thursday, December 10th, over and out.